So they were saying on uh they were saying Joe Rogan didn't believe in Jesus. He didn't um he thought he was silly, blah blah blah. But no he does. I'm saying like yo that's why yo I don't let people tell me like yo God is not real, the Bible is fake, blah 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 blah. Because yo I know like you have to be mature so I stay mature and wait for them to get mature and then we start talking about God and stuff and what it's all about right because this happened to me back in high school in high school I realized we always like hanging out smoking weed skipping class acting all gangster and stuff you know just being stupid until one of our friends gets into a relationship with a girl then he doesn't smoke no more he doesn't chill no more he's doing his homework He's not skipping class with us, not smoking no weed. He got his life together, he's getting a job. You know, so I was like, oh, that's the game, man. So it's who, who's more mature? So that's how they, they, they take you seriously if you get mature. So in high school, I decided to, to be fully mature. And I grab onto everything, God, everything. And, 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 and from there, I just kept moving on, wait for people to, to be mature. Because I, I, it came to the point that I realized that God, God ain't doing nothing around. God is helping the people. The people are not helping themselves. Most people on the earth are, are basically just stupid. And it's not my business why they're stupid. You know? But I'm saying God is just helping people. These commandments aren't bully rules. Oh, I'm God. I'm going to bully you. All God has said, said in his Ten Commandments, he said in the first one, don't have no other God beside me. You know what I mean? Be loyal to him. That's what he's saying. Don't disrespect his name. Respect your mother and your father. That's all he's telling you. Right? Don't lie and don't kill in those kind of things. Right? He told you the best food to eat, the best way to dress. And all all these all these rules is to help you build your community. Help you build your family keep the strength in the family and the community that that's that's how god helps his people god helps his people take care of themselves and a lot of people i realized growing up i didn't know nothing about no god i trying so hard to understand i can't i don't know what they're talking about they ain't talking about nothing they, they're using god to do all sorts of things make money fight make up lies a whole bunch but if you really read that book and try to understand what it's all about, God will show you. And the simple math is, God took Abraham, chose Abraham, and his, his descendants, not all of them. He chose Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Jacob's 12 sons. And all their descendants, all Jacob's 12 sons, descendants, or we should say, Jacob's 12 sons and his two grandsons, Ephraim and Manasseh, right? All these people, right? They, they went to Egypt and they got stuck in Egypt and became a big multitude, like a great, a, a, like a big, a big town of people, or I say a big nation. They became a bigger nation. Then they left Egypt, right? And they went into the wilderness, like the desert area. Moses went up on a mountain to get the commandments. The commandments God gave to Moses so Moses can help these people. And these, they can, you see what I'm saying? God is working with them. That's what it's for. And I always tell people like, yo, you have a computer, he comes with a manual. You have a phone, he comes with a manual. You have a car, he comes with a manual. Almost everything comes with a manual today. When you create something, you gotta tell someone how it works. That's all that God is doing. He's trying to show you how you're supposed to function. Right? And a lot of people aren't really... They say they're down to earth. But you're not down to earth. You're up in space. You're an alien. Because if you're down to earth, you'll be doing things to help the earth, earth people on earth. Right? The whole, the whole planet, the way the whole planet is going. It's going down the wrong path. And God has been trying to stop them for ages, but they won't stop. They won't stop because they're just, what's wrong with them? They're just rebellious children. God's children, these people, they're just rebellious. 
that's the truth to the story. There are a whole bunch of rebellious children. And I, I'm not saying I'm excluded. I'm one of them too. So you got to know yourself. And once you know yourself, then you can understand God. That's what they say. God say, you know, do what you're seeing before you talk about other people's sin and things like that. You know? With me, I, I acknowledge the fact that I'm not perfect. I'm not always good. You know? I know I need guidance because, you know, there's a lot of things you need guidance with. Right? So there's a, there's, there's, there's uh, instructions on, on how, how to live the best life. Right? How to eat the best food. And how to dress the best. And, and how to treat your family the best. And how, and how to respect your community the best. So there, God gave them these things. Things they need. Not things they want. We never get the things we want from God. God gave us everything we need. But that's not enough for us. We go create a whole bunch of stuff. And now the things we create... We worship it. That's what we need now. No. That's why I say food shouldn't be so expensive. Food should be, there should be a standard price for food. It, should, it probably should never change. Food should be on a certain level. You know? Things like luxury, like houses and, and buildings and cars and all these devices, that, that, that should cost them something. That, that should go up and down, up and down like crazy. But not, not the food. You know, or even the, the land so people can leave them. But it's... This this life is complicated. The people are complicated. The people gather in one location, in the city. Because people like to be amongst each other. People like to be with, with each other subconsciously. But they pretend and act like, oh, we don't like... You know, it's bullshit. It's all, it's, it's like a lot of fakeness, a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy, a lot of greed, a lot of stupidity. And like, sin and evil is stupidity. It's, 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 it's um, wickedness, it's foolishness. It's the same thing. It's foolish. Wickedness is, a, is, is, is foolish ideas. So people thinking like they're so great, no. Wickedness is being dumb. So when you're on that level, thinking about God and thinking and trying to be like God and all that other stuff, then you know like yo, all this foolishness, all this stupidity, God isn't dealing with that. That's why God is telling you, be real to yourself. Be real to you, your family. Be real to your community. That's why God gave us rules, right? And the rules are important because this is why we having all the killing, all the fighting, because we fucking up God's original rule. Here is one of God's rule that, that's been totally destroyed that people should have. God rule here is when you have a tree that have fruits on the tree, don't eat all the fruits off the tree. Leave a tenth of the fruit on the tree for the people who pass him by so they can eat, so they can take a fruit and eat. You understand the rule now? People not playing by the real rules of life. People, people aren't really being people. People are being stupid. And that's evil. That's sin. Right? A lot of people who don't know what they're doing and they're just doing it, they call that what transgression, but it's still stupidness. But if you know you're doing stupidness and you're doing it still, then they call it sin. So, wickedness, stupidness, evil, do the same thing. Making a making a mistake, an error, doing something wrong, foolishness. God is trying to warn them about this. This is what makes this is this what make people very intelligent and very knowledgeable. Learn a lot about history and art when people understand God needs for all these commandments and rules. It's not to bully us or to persecute us like how they persecute black people with the law and shit like that. No, it's not like that. 
it's actually so we can live in peace and enjoy our life enjoy experience here on earth before we die okay most people are not ex enjoying the experience because the people fucked it all up talking about oh i don't believe fuck you i don't care we don't care who believe in god or who don't believe in god you just don't tell us what to believe in okay you since you believe there is no god and you believe you're such an atheist or you believe whatever you you are you are you are okay just leave us alone we have different belief try to show some respect for people having different opinions and people people using their mind to be peaceful and knowledgeable okay here i am talking about not stealing from people not killing people not lying to people respecting god respecting my mother and my father being respectful to the people in my community and you don't want that that's what you don't want you want violence you want death and destruction is that what you really want i don't think so i think when you get into no matter how gangster you say you are when you get into a relationship with a woman you fall in love with this woman you start to love where is where is all that gangster shit now that that ain't gangster love and 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 and, and thuggish that's a righteous thing so all these tough guys these big old gangsters these fat ass mafia motherfuckers who be talking all that shit they go home make love to their woman and they love their woman they love their children and their family so what i'm trying to say here is in in the in the base of every human being is love everybody love and people are lying to themselves that's what they do and they're lying to themselves because we're in the state of what good and evil we have that that balance so we at any moment we can do good we can do evil kind of thing so god is trying to help us straighten that out balance that out god say yo be like me even like god so what he was saying there to you did he say no oh, go around bullying people you rule people and act like you're better than them no that's not what he's saying he didn't even want a king in israel when Israel begged for, for to have a king, he had judges. He didn't, he, him and the prophet didn't, didn't respect that. But the people was begging to have like a, a king, you know? So, God didn't want, want, God didn't give them a king. He gave them judges, right? To judge them. And they wanted a king to be like all the other nations. And God said to the prophet this day they have rejected me and this is the beginning to their downfall so they, they had a first king saw that God gave them as a punishment to them read the Bible carefully so King Saul was to teach them a lesson after King Saul God gave them a, a better king King David King David do a lot of work for them and after King David who they got Solomon and after Solomon all hell broke loose they just went downhill slowly and guess what actually happened to them they 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 see they stopped to, from being a nation and they um they got dispersed into all other nations and they known as the lost tribes of Israel and the kingdom of Judah is dispersed and spread too to, till this day, they, they, they have the land of Jerusalem and they created the state of Israel saying, yo, this is the land of Israel and the Jews have come back to the land. The, my point I'm trying to make is for them to have come back, that means they have to have disappeared and, and, and dispersed. You understand? So my point is, God wasn't, God, God trying to even help the Israelites. But they didn't do the things that God gave them the commandments to teach them. And they didn't take it to heart and they didn't take it seriously. And they're trying to be like other nations, trying to be like other people. They want That's what they want. So what God did, God dispersed them and let them be slaves and uh, amongst other people, nation, and be at the bottom. And the other nations be at, uh, above them. This is what's written. You know, 
until they, they, they look towards God and respect Him, and God's going to come and put them back in, in, in their land. That's what He said. You know? So, with all that talk, I never take people seriously when they tell me God is not real. I got my own brain. So there's, I have doubts of certain things when it comes to thinking about God. When I was a little kid, I had a lot of doubts. I didn't understand nothing. When I started to go to church, it was even hard to believe Jesus Christ, like the story, you know? It's hard to believe all, all these things. These days, in my, at my age and at my level of understanding, I believe. I, I don't just believe. I know. Right? But back then, I didn't know. I didn't believe. I just kept reading and keep trying to understand. Because I know that I wasn't perfect. I, I, I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to be better. But I learned that, yo, I was, I was, I was working hard trying to, be, trying to act like I was perfect and stuff. But you got to accept the fact that you're imperfect. You are imperfect being. Like, we can never be perfect. You know? But you have to do better. You know? That's why there is rules to follow guidelines so you stay on that path. You know? Or else you, 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 you fall off. We imperfect, bro. But you can be perfect. Even though you're not perfect, if you know what I'm trying to say, you can you can do perfectly. Like what I mean like now, you can have a family, have have some friends, treat them with love and respect. You know, no shenanigans. Everybody grow up, live a good life, pay off, like the children pay off like they're supposed to. Fam family multiply. Things like that. Good living. You know? So, I let people grow up and mature, and then we talk about God. Then we get real, you know, because God is not something to joke about. It's real. And I realized as an adult, as a kid, most kids ain't going to understand what God is all about. Most kids can't, but some kids will. Some kids are brilliant. Because we're not all the same. But in my case, I didn't understand. I want, I want, I had a, I had a, a hunger for knowledge to believe. I wanted to believe in God because the story of God is so good. Like I just wanted to believe there is something better than this world. I guess because as a little kid starting to grow up, a lot of stupid things I seen as a kid. So I just stopped trusting people and stuff. That's why I'm kind of like, I'm, people say I'm scary. I'm always nervous. Especially around people. I don't trust no one. I don't trust anyone. You know? If you believe in God, and you, you come off, you're talking about God, and you're real about the this, about this stuff, like some of these people who be on YouTube, like like Dalton Fast Night. I'm not sure if that's his name. Like, um, like you have to be real. You know what I mean? Like, re serious. Anyways, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm actually hungry and everything. But I just wanted to say that because, yo, um, I being mature, and um, I learned about God and why we need God. We need God. You know, we need God. We need our father and we need our mother when we're, when we're children. We need God. We're not no God. We're here on this planet. While we're here on this planet, we go need them, that God, right? And God, God is real, and we have we have records, we have a Bible or a collection of scripture, right? We have we have evidence. So, but we we not using it for anything positive. We're not using it for anything good, right? Anyways. A lot of people take the, the Bible rules and think it's about them. But no, it's about the Israelites, right? It's nice that we have the Bible, though, and we can actually um, learn from it and better ourselves. 
but that was part of the Israelite job to teach the world and to make the world a better place. This is part of the things they forfeit, right? So we can basically see, basically say the world's in a bad state because of them. Because if they would have obeyed God, the world would have been a better place. It wouldn't be as bad as it is right now. I mean, it wouldn't be perfect still, but it wouldn't be this bad. But anyways, obviously, God is real, and obviously, we need a God. But most kids can't believe that. You know? So you can't ask people to sure to know all these things. But when you're seeing it with your own eyes, you're watching the sun give light to the plants and they grow, and you have to eat the food from the sun, from, from the plants and get the sunlight inside of you and everything, you know? Like, you know, someone prepared his life, not just for, for the people, but for the animals and the plants. And we all work together. This world survives because of us, kind of thing. But, like, not necessarily, but I mean, like, the circle of life. Like, we breathe out carbon dioxide, the, the trees breathe it in. You know what I mean? Whatever we put, put into the earth, Whatever our garbage is, the, it, it's food for the plant. Like the the all, 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 all the plants recycle all their old dead materials. The best way to put all the dead materials, the plants recycle them, right? And they build new materials while they grow in the ground. Cause that's what the dirt is. It's materials. A lot of people say, "Oh, you dirty." You, you, we all made of dirt. We all made up materials from the earth, from the ground. And that's why when we eat the fruit, we eat, we, we, our body take the materials from the fruit and, and build and build and block, build our body up, you know what I'm saying? And the energy to, to work and to move and strength comes from the sun. You know, but the earth builds our body. But what gives us energy is the sun itself. You know, and the, the material and the energy is in the in the food. That's why we get sugar. Sugar, sugar ain't, ain't a real thing. It's sweet, yeah, that's what we taste it like. But sugar is just sunlight trapped in between two little uh, element, elementals. That's what I'm going to call them for now. You know, when when it, your body separate the elements, the, the energy is released into, you, into your cells into the individual cells in your body so the energy has to go through your blood that's why they say your blood have a sugar level right your energy travels the, in the bloodstream as sugar but when when the sugar goes into in the individual cells throughout your body your skin your bone your teeth your, your flesh your muscles right then then you, you, the, those cells break down the materials and the, 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 the light literally is just released from in between the bonds of the material. But the photosynthesis, the tree is photosynthesizing. So the tree puts the light between the materials in the fruit, right? Where it sees that. Right? So that's where its fruit is. So most plants have their seed in a fruit. Some seeds are on the ground and it, it grows by itself like potatoes and such. Some are branches. The branches is, is where it grows them. Right? Or some plants make little, little, um, how do you call it? Little mini plants after they die and then that grows. You know? But main plants like fruits put their energy the sugar with the seeds right and I can't tell you why they do that right now right but I know part of the purpose is so God can give us energy right God has a way of giving us energy we eat the food we put the seed in the ground you know or on the ground it still grows so it's a blessing we eat one fruit, ten trees supposed to grow up. 
You know, we spit out like 20 seeds. Say 10, half of the seeds are grow. Things like that. The world is a shame. It is a fucking shame. And I'm part of it too, but I'm just saying. So, um, yeah, we do need a God. And um, it's sad that people don't talk about this as much, you know? We need a God, and young black men need their fathers to teach them about women. Teach them how to deal, talk to women, how to deal with them. We need to get serious about life, and like male and female and shit like that. Like, when you're with a woman, like women and men aren't the same, they're different. People, people be talking all that bullshit. You know, you need to learn how to respect your woman, how to, how to, how to not get angry at little stupid thing and the women need to learn how to not get angry at every little stupid thing and show some restraint as well. But we all need that kind of training. We never get training for family. The only trainings we ever get is for working, being someone's little bitch, someone's slave or two. But some of these workers do appreciate us. I'm not trying to make it make it look like they're all pieces of shit. But a lot of them are. You know, so they always teach us how to do this, that, that. But well, you gotta teach us, you gotta have a class where you teach the kids how to do their laundry, how to, how, to, how to cook some food, how to talk, how to have conversations. Maybe you, 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 you get them to talk, you know how we do in high school, you get them to sit down in class, go around, talk to each other, hi, what's your name, how you doing, and ask questions and stuff. Teach them to get familiar with people and shit, instead of using the women as as bait for the men to work as slaves and shit like that. But that's what it looks like to me. I'm not saying that's what it is, I'm saying that's what it looks like. So this video is for entertainment purposes <laughs> only. So like yo yo, um I'm off this um as you can see my eye I'm tired. I'm tired of the bullshit. I gotta go.